Hello to all you primary teachers. My name is Monica Prather, and I am your Apple Learning Coach. This video is part of the Apple Bytes series. It's used for teachers who want to learn something but only have a short amount of time, like when they gather for PLCs or for breakout faculty meetings or small groups. Apple Byte lessons are a make and take. Teachers learn something very quickly, but thoroughly, and then take it immediately back to their classrooms and implement it with their children. It is very important to remember that primary students should never be on an iPad all day long. They still need to build those motor skills with hands-on activities, and they need human contact and face-to-face -face lessons. So it is recommended that they only complete one or two small iPad creation activities a day. And these activities should never last longer than 10 or 15 minutes. Remember, less is best when implementing iPads with primary students. Today, I'm gonna show you how your students can use the Apple Notes app, which is already downloaded onto their iPads to review colors, shapes, numbers, and letters. This app is called an evergreen app which means it can be used by students to show their learning in any content or curriculum. So make sure you can find the Apple Notes app on the iPad. I think we're ready, so let's get started. Our first lesson will be on color recognition. We will be using a photo, so I suggest creating a scene in your classroom somewhere that has lots of different colors for students to take a picture. Wherever you are completing this lesson, have an area in mind that is colorful where you can snap a quick photo when it's time. So, once the scene is set, open the Apple Notes app. It looks like this. Once inside the app, tap the paper and pen icon to start a new note. It's located in the upper right corner of the iPad. Now, for this first activity, we need to use the camera. So tap the camera icon right up here. Choose take a photo or video. Now, go to the scene or any place where you currently are, take your iPad and snap a photo. Then tap use photo. Pause the video on the next screen and complete the first part of this lesson. When everyone is ready to continue, play the video again. Now we want to draw on the photo that we just took. To do this, you need to tap the photo two times to open it, which means making it ready to be marked on. Tap the marker icon on the top right of the iPad screen. You should see a toolbar appear up from the bottom of the screen. Now you can choose a pen style and a color. There's also an eraser if you make a mistake. After choosing a pen style and a color, I want you to circle all the images in the photo that are the color yellow. You're going to use your finger on the iPad home screen to circle the images. Now tap done in the upper left corner of the screen when you're finished. Pause the video on the next screen and complete the second part of this lesson. Then discuss with your colleagues other ideas where you could implement this type of lesson. When everyone is ready to continue, play the video again. Okay, now that we are back together again, I want to point out something to you you might find useful. I want you to find the two arrows. Here's what they look like. Tap those arrows. For some of you, it will make the notes listed on the left side of the iPad go away. For others of you, it will show you the list of notes on the left side. To delete any previously created notes, just use your finger on the home screen and slide the note you want to delete to the left. Then tap the trash can to delete the note. Tap the two arrows a few times just to get an idea of how they work. 
Okay, I think we are ready for lesson number two. Now that you know the basics, this lesson will be a little easier for you. Just like we did before, tap the paper and the pen icon to start a new note. This time, I want you to use the keyboard and type the name of a shape and then list two of its attributes. How about a triangle? Okay, so I'm gonna type the word triangle and then I'm going to type that it has three sides and three angles. Next, I want to draw a triangle, so I'm going to tap the keyboard icon right down at the bottom right to get rid of the keyboard. Now I'm going to tap the pen icon on the top right of the screen. I'm going to choose a pen style and color, just like before, and then I'm going to draw a triangle with my finger on the iPad home screen. Pause the video on the next screen to practice this lesson. Then discuss with your colleagues other ideas where you could implement this type of lesson into your curriculum. The next two lessons include students taking a photo of an activity sheet or a page in a textbook then completing the review lesson digitally using Apple Notes. Let's start with number recognition. Please have one of your colleagues take a sheet of paper and draw 20 small gumball sized circles. Put random single digit numbers in each gumball, making sure that the number nine shows up a lot. Here's mine, and here's how you do this lesson. After opening the Notes app, Create a new note, tap the camera, and choose Take a Photo or Video. Take a picture of the paper your colleague created and tap Use Photo. Double tap the photo and tap the pen icon to begin marking up the image. Color all the gumballs that have the number 9 in them and then tap Done when you've completed the activity. Pause the video on the next screen to practice this lesson. Then discuss with your colleagues other ideas where you could implement this type of lesson into your curriculum. I hope you are enjoying these simple, yet effective activities you can do with your students using the Apple Notes app. I have one more to show you. If I want my students to practice writing their letters, I can have them open the Notes app, create a new note, and take a photo of a writing practice sheet. Then they can trace the letter, practicing writing the letter on their own and possibly draw things that start with that letter. See? Also, make sure that you show your students how to make the photo larger by zooming out with your fingers like this. It might help with their writing practice. This activity is great for not only writing letters and numbers, but words, spelling words, their names. And once they know how to write their letters and numbers, you can always have them take a photo of a blank writing paper and then copy something onto it for more writing practice. Pause the video on the next screen, then discuss with your colleagues other ideas where you could implement this type of lesson into your curriculum. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And always remember the Apple Bytes slogan, an apple a day prevents learning decay. Goodbye everyone, I can't wait to see you next time.